Hi guys, sorry for my voice, but let me show you how to fix the dumb bug of the problems with the video card of the VMware. So, with NRP86. So, go to the official site of the NRP86. Go to the Android 9 section where it says Android 9.86 9.0 R2 release. Then go on OSDN.net, this one down. Then go to select your ISO file I recommend for you and will have just the driver to download it. So, Go set the Android P86, this one where I show it to you with my arrow, this where it says K49, download it, and, and um, just, just wait, just wait, it finished to download. Wait, I already downloaded it, I'm going to my down, what the heck is this, no. And anyway, after download and finish it, go open VMVAR, and um, And got to create new virtual machine, custom, advanced, this one, next, 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 use other Linux 4.x, 64 bit, next, name it, name it, how do you want, And here, how many cores you can uh, you, you you can uh, you can have you can have. Can check in task manager, prestation, go in CPU section. If you see, you can have eight. I don't know how many, but in my case, I have only four. So going be at four cores next. Yeah, add the minimal two gigabits of RAM, but I recommend you add two and. And uh, 5000, the next, next, use a logical SAS. If you can, if you can use NWM driver, uh, I mean the, the NWM disk, if you can't use the SATA or IDE, but I, rec I recommend more much the IDE, but in my case, you can use the NWM. Okay, new, yes, next. And here, how much storage do you want? Next, next, auto customize hardware, auto on processor, virtualize it if you can, on, on DVD, CVD, browse, and go select your ISO file A image you don't like it, so it's the new Android PlayStation, this one. So, go on display, check on accelerator graphics. Select one gigabit or two gigabits and close it and click on finish. So, power on this machine and go on advanced options and select to installation to specific, uh, it's, a, it's an auto installation. Oh yes, I didn't remember to say it. You, you to move here, you need to use, use to your your arrows on your keyboard. And to select, uh, use enter. So, enter on auto installation. On your specific hardware. Go on yes and hit enter. In my case, I have an NWMR disk. It's not a disk very much for enterprise, but he gets a new support, new things, so it can be much good. Anyways, just wait. Now he auto install it, so just wait. Auto installation is much faster than the manual because he like just. Get copy where first the files and find when they when they other just expand them and other things. So yeah. okay, the installation like is finishing. So reboot it and um, wait.
you can wait wait what's wait fail oh man wait fail wait guys i need checkers what wait failed start with i got checked i got okay what the heck is this Wait a minute, guys. I go on the on the beer stop and I wanna check what what is going bad. Are they? Ah, oh, yes. I just cannot do it. Oh yes. yes. I don't remember. I think uh, for do this you need to use the UFI mode. So sorry guys, I get an error, but do not worry. To go on. And the virtual machine settings go on options, advanced, and select UFI. Click on OK. Then go power on this machine. And interface is much changed, but do not worry. Go on advanced option and select how to install the specific orders. Hit enter and wait. Some of the reasons in the UFI mode are all yes. Go select yes and hit enter. Uh, how do I say? I don't know why in UFI mode to install this interface on an N1 hard disk, you need wait much more time. I, I don't know why, but it's how he do. So let's just please wait and he finish up this format after the installation. I ah, yes one thing one one thing. In UFI mod you cannot just use a normal grub. You need to use a specific. You need to use a GPT partition. If you wanna do it manual, you will need to use the GPT two. For do this, you need like, of course, great. Uh, anyways, I really I prefer use uh, the UFI model to installation because you need to use the uh, GPT two and one and one know how to use it. So, hello, no. Come on, finish it. Come on, do fast, fast. This is the problem of the UFI mod in auto installation. He do this much slower the formatting. After the installation, it's much faster. And like he starts, but he runs. Like oh god, why is so much time required? Okay, okay, something happening. Okay, finally. Okay, install it faster as possible. Okay. So, 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 yeah, good. This time it showed it to boot and run perfectly. I think we do it, I think this one is working only in UFI mode and fine. Because I think in the, in the BIOS it fails, but I don't know why, but it just, this is, this works and yes, it, it only works in UFI. What normally, I don't know why, this version of, of this one is support the Vulkan support, but I not recommend you this because he not has the, the, how is the name, the, the mouse support, I don't know why, but, mm. let's put in the Android and let's see if, if, if you show it, the logo of Android, it means it works, if not, it just fails, but, it's never happening because Android page six is working on it, on it very hardly, I think. So, come on, boot up, boot up, oh, finally. This takes like a few minutes, but do not worry, it's worth for doing. So, let's just wait.
Okay guys, we're back. Set the language you want, go on start and, and do, all, do all the setup. Yep. If I say the, the screen is much bigger and much sweet, hmm. you can play games, yes! You can, but you can only play it low graphics. You cannot use Enkima, you can use, for doing it, you need buy Enkima per. I'm, I'm practically in Europe, so it costs, it costs like 3 euros on good Kimapper. Like, I used to buy the, the Kimapper up to put together Google Play support. And well, 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 what's happening? I cannot say it in Google because, because, because I tried it on, on a knockout version. And for some no reason I can. Because, no good version has the support of the AB weight and MAB weight. When is one of Android 9.0 no, after the Nogal like the version 8.0 or 8.1, you cannot have any more having the, the support of of it. So you can you cannot just do it. So you cannot use a map like octopus. Cannot just use it, octopus. What's worth on? Skip it anyway, anyway. No, please. Okay, and in pinch and touch. Come on, do it fast, dude. You can play games like Roblox or any wall. It's it's like stupid or go on quick step and boom. I not want to use the under per eighty six the. The stability option, but I don't know why in my version of VMVR it's crashed just. But to show you, it has the 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 the, 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 the how it's named the the video card support, the GPU support. If you go on the, there's one, you see gel vendor VMVR Inc. gel vendor render SVGA blah blah blah. Gel Workshop and GLS because why it's 2.0 because uh, it's updated to the um, 19 and 19 for him it's like and don't worry but he support it so <coughs> god damn it anyways this is this is how um, and how to install it and run it so yes to run it you need all of the the K49, the kernel 4.9 to get the support of the video card you can play games as well, yes, how do I say see, kernel version 4.9 and that's why it works if you use a an, an much upgraded kernel, he will not run ok, because it has possible newer versions and other things and he cannot just run so guys, this is all. This is how to run and install Android 36 9.0 and having the graphic card support and run it perfectly smooth with not any problems. So guys, this is all for today. So what I can say? Like and subscribe. Goodbye, guys.